Hello everyone, my name is Kim Christopher and today is Reading with Reference, uh, where we in the Reference Department talk about some of the things we have read recently to share with you as reading suggestions. And so today I have the graphic novel series, Kill or Be Killed. And in this series, uh, well, perhaps the cover tells it all, uh, the main character is a vigilante. And not just any vigilante, where Dylan, the vigilante here, <laughs> He's failing miserably at life, you know, love, college, work, everything, failing miserably. And, well, he decides life can only get worse rather than better and decides to end it all. But, to say the least, he fails even at that. And in the aftermath of his suicide attempt, he comes to a revelation that, now oh, life is actually beautiful. Why not give it a second chance? Uh, but in the process of rebuilding his life... A demon appears before him, proclaiming that it was he who saved Dylan's life, and that in exchange, in a sort of reverse Faustian kind of deal, he commands or demands that Dylan take the life of an evil individual every month to continue living. And so, to continue living, instead of just pursuing justice and, the, you know, righteousness, <laughs> Dylan embarks on a bloody path, and I mean a bloody path of vigilante justice. And, you know, other than the demon aspect of the story, which almost makes it supernatural, um, it does sort of sound like one of those sort of typical vigilante stories, but um, it's different where the authors Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips, they took a different approach to things where instead of it just being a vigilante story that, you know, sort of glamorizes the vigilante life, you know, like Batman, Superman, Captain America, you know, all those other superhero and hero stories would do, they show just how terrible, in a way, the vigilante life can be. It, they document step-by-step -step Dylan's um, life, his descent into the vigilante life, you know, the ups, the downs, the good, the bad, mostly the bad since he's killing people, but yeah, just all sorts of moral questions are posed with this series, nothing at all glamorizing vigilante life, you know, where when Dylan takes the life of a person for the very first time, even though that individual turns about to be perhaps the most individual uh, evil person ever, um, you know, Dylan questions, you know, oh my god, I just killed another human being, you know, what do I do from here now? I, sh I want to quit, but... What about that demon in the background who says he's going to kill me, you know? All these sorts of questions, it it just really just poses all sorts of moral questions about that sort of lifestyle. And while it wasn't meant to be like this, it's also a fascinating read where, which makes it sort of a psychological drama, where the demon in the series, it's never established if that demon is real, which would make this a supernatural series instead of an action one, and or if the demon, you know, is actually a figment of Dylan's imagination, his suicide attempt being sort of a reflection of his mental state, but um, is Dylan as a result, you know, another Norman Bates, the psychopath, you know, just killing people and using the demon as an excuse to justify the murder of people, no matter how evil they may be? And yeah, it's just engrossing as a read of these elements and many more it, it it's it the two authors they packed a lot of complex issues into the short run that it did only 20 issues four volumes complete but yeah it's it's one heck of a roller coaster ride and i had a lot of fun reading it um and so yeah i would highly recommend killer be killed uh, especially if you want something to tide you off until that next big summer blockbuster as this is just Full of action, drama, even a little romance, uh, and psychological themes, all sorts of things like I said. Very complex, but it's sort of ironic, I would say, blockbuster, because they are planning to make this into a movie, and I, for one, after having read this series, I can just envision Tim Curry as the demon urging on Dylan to kill people. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, kill or be killed. I highly recommend this as a read. And then last, here I have oops, <laughs> the series Fables by Bill Willingham. And just like uh, some of the other things I've talked about in some of the other Reading With Reference, um, this is something I had known about, uh, but 
I had tried reading this in 19, uh, 2002 when it was released, and I was just a kid. I, I couldn't wrap my head around all the complex subjects that Bill Willingham was trying to do in this series, uh, where it was originally published under DC's Vertical title, uh, which is now the Black Label, but Vertigo, they published very mature, graphic, complex stories uh, with the Vertical stuff, uh, Vertical imprints, uh, and... Yeah, just now as an adult reader, I fully understand what everybody was raving about. What Willingham, what he, how amazing of an author he is, a writer, where he took all the classic folktale and fairy tale characters and gave them a new, fresh start. Where in this storyline, all the fables, uh, per the title, the fairy tale characters, they're refugees, uh, where after a bloody conflict uh, that they lost, <laughs> they escaped into our world. They're, and for hundreds of years, they've been hiding amongst us in plain sight. Uh, they could be your next-door neighbor. They could be your best friend. They, they could be the cashier checking you out at the grocery store. It, it's just fascinating to see them in all these sort of ordinary, everyday sort of roles. And we, as the readers... We're introduced to the fables when the Big Bad Wolf, and yes, that Big Bad Wolf, it, as a private investigator, investigates the death of Snow White's uh, sister, who is the mayor of the fable town, the place where they hide in plain sight. Or vice mayor, rather. She, yeah, it, It's complex again, but yeah. Uh, it, there is just so much... Uh, go over in this series in the short time I have here, but yeah, it's um, just like uh, what I said with Ka, Dar, Oakley, and the Rune of Ymir, it, it is very difficult to put into words just how amazing of a series Fables is, uh, how engrossing of a read. I, I just wish that when I read it that the artwork on the cover here was also used in the series, but it is just, yeah, it, it's... Um, I guess the best way I can put it is that with all the fairy tale characters and stories today, uh, not to say anything bad about Disney, but they just really sanitized them all to make them kid friendly. But those stories were meant to be cautionary tales, and as a result of what Bill Willingham did, it's sort of it's really refreshing to see them just in a more mature tone and perhaps the way they were meant to be, rather than just you know this happily ever after sort of story. You know, everybody lives. You know. And, yeah, it's 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 just uh, mind-blowing what he did with the series. And, yeah, so I highly, highly recommend Fables as a fantasy read. Uh, I've only read the first two volumes in the series. It, it ran for nearly 20 years, and I, I just devoured those first two volumes, and I'm just eager to keep on reading the series. And, yeah, so... I highly recommend this as a read. You will not be disappointed, I assure you. And, well, that is everything I can say in the short time that I have here. Um, uh, please keep in mind now that um, our curbside pickup is in full swing. Uh, when something is available in our catalog, if you wish to check out these items, it will say Contact Library. And our hours for the curbside are Monday through Wednesday, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., Thursday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., and Friday, Saturday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And please uh, also check Catherine's Tech Time video for uh, searching our catalog and how to request items. If something isn't available, uh, you can now request items like you would in the past and get them from other libraries. They will be sent to our library. Just put HA, uh, Haverford, as the pickup place, and you can pick them up as part of the curbside. Until we talk again next week then uh, in our either our reading with reference or sneak peeks, I hope you have a wonderful day and take care everyone.